Question 1. What was the primary objective of the Magna Carta signed in 1215? A. To declare independence from France. B. To introduce the concept of jury trials. C. To limit the powers of the king and protect the rights of the nobility. D. To establish the Church of England. Answer. C. To limit the powers of the king and protect the rights of the nobility. The Magna Carta was a groundbreaking document that sought to limit the powers of the king and ensure certain rights for the nobility, marking a significant step in the development of constitutional law. Question 2. Who was the first Plantagenet king of England? A. Richard the Lionheart. B. Edward I. C. Henry II. D. William the Conqueror. Answer. C. Henry II. Henry II was the first Plantagenet king of England, coming to the throne in 1154. His reign marked the beginning of the Plantagenet dynasty that would rule England for several centuries. Question 3. Detail the causes and outcomes of the Wars of the Roses. A. A dispute over religious reforms. B. A series of battles between England and France. C. A struggle for the English throne between the House of Lancaster and the House of York. D. A conflict caused by taxation policies. Answer. C. A struggle for the English throne between the House of Lancaster and the House of York. The Wars of the Roses were a series of civil wars fought over control of the English throne, with the House of Lancaster, represented by a red rose, and the House of York, represented by a white rose, as the main contenders. Question 4. Explain the significance of the English Reformation and Henry VIII's role in it. A. The transition of England to a Protestant state and the establishment of the Church of England. B. The unification of England and Scotland. C. The introduction of the feudal system. D. The expansion of the British Empire. Answer. A. The transition of England to a Protestant state and the establishment of the Church of England. Henry VIII played a pivotal role in the English Reformation by establishing the Church of England, separating from the Catholic Church primarily to gain control over religious and marital laws. Question 5. What were the key disputes that led to the English Civil War? A. Economic policies and colonial expansion. B. Religious differences and the power of the monarchy. C. Land ownership laws. D. The succession to the throne. Answer. B. Religious differences and the power of the monarchy. The English Civil War was primarily fueled by conflicts between the monarchy under Charles I and Parliament, with significant issues being religious differences and how much power the king should have. Question 6. Describe the impact of the Glorious Revolution and the constitutional changes it brought. A. The establishment of parliamentary sovereignty. B. The abolition of the monarchy. C. The beginning of the Industrial Revolution. D. The end of the British Empire. Answer. A. The establishment of parliamentary sovereignty. The Glorious Revolution of 1688 led to the overthrow of King James II in favour of William and Mary, which significantly limited the powers of the monarchy and laid the foundation for a constitutional monarchy with parliamentary sovereignty. Question 7. What was the purpose of the Act of Union 1707? A. To merge the kingdoms of England and France. B to establish English as the official language of Scotland. C. To unite the kingdoms of England and Scotland into the Kingdom of Great Britain. D. To dissolve the Scottish Parliament. Answer. C. To unite the kingdoms of England and Scotland into the Kingdom of Great Britain.
The Act of Union 1707 was a pivotal agreement that brought about the political union of England and Scotland under the name of Great Britain. Question 8. Outline the main causes of the British agricultural revolution in the 18th century. A. The introduction of new crops from the Americas. B. Technological innovations and improvements in farm management. C. The repeal of the Corn Laws. D. The discovery of mineral resources. Answer. B. Technological innovations and improvements in farm management. The British Agricultural Revolution was characterized by significant technological innovations and improved agricultural practices leading to increased productivity and the ability to support a growing population. Question 9. How did the Industrial Revolution change the social and economic landscape of Britain? A. By decreasing the population in urban areas. B. By reducing the significance of agriculture. C. By leading to significant technological advancements and the growth of factories which transformed Britain into an industrial and urban society. D. By strengthening the feudal system. Answer C. By leading to significant technological advancements and the growth of factories, which transformed Britain into an industrial and urban society. The Industrial Revolution marked a major turning point in history, with its impact on the social and economic structure of Britain being profound and lasting. Question 10. What were the Corn Laws and why were they controversial? A. Laws that established a national bank. B. Import tariffs and restrictions on corn to protect domestic producers, leading to high food prices and public discontent. C. Laws regulating the hours of work in factories. D. Legislation aimed at reforming the educational system. Answer. B. Import tariffs and restrictions on corn to protect domestic producers, leading to high food prices and public discontent. The corn laws were highly controversial because they kept food prices high, benefiting landowners at the expense of the general population, leading to widespread protest. Question 11. To describe the events and significance of the Great Reform Act of 1832. A. The act that abolished slavery throughout the British Empire. B. The act that granted the right to vote to all men. C. The legislation that significantly expanded the electorate and addressed some of the most glaring inequities in the electoral system. D. The law that established the Bank of England. Answer. C. The legislation that significantly expanded the electorate and addressed some of the most glaring inequities in the electoral system. The Great Reform Act of 1832 was a milestone in the development of the British parliamentary system, paving the way for further electoral reforms. Question 12. What was the Chartism movement and what did it aim to achieve? A. A campaign for the abolition of the monarchy. B. A movement that sought to establish a national education system. C. A working-class movement for political reform, focusing on demands like universal male suffrage and secret ballots. D. A movement to reform the agricultural sector. Answer. C. A working-class movement for political reform focusing on demands like universal male suffrage and secret ballots. Chartism was significant in the history of British democracy, representing the first mass working-class labour movement in the world. Question 13. How outline the contributions of the British Empire to the modern world? a. The spread of democratic institutions b. The introduction of the metric system c the global expansion of the English language and legal systems, as well as technological and cultural innovations. d. The establishment of a global postal service. Answer. c. 
the global expansion of the English language and legal systems, as well as technological and cultural innovations. The British Empire had a profound and lasting impact on the world, influencing everything from language and law to technology and cultural practices. Question 14. Detail the origins and consequences of the Irish potato famine. A. A war that led to significant loss of life. B. A disease that struck potato crops, leading to mass starvation and emigration. C. The result of a trade embargo. D. A natural disaster that caused widespread flooding. Answer. B. A disease that struck potato crops, leading to mass starvation and emigration. The Irish potato famine of the mid-19th century had devastating effects on Ireland, causing widespread suffering and leading to a significant decrease in the population through death and emigration. Question 15. Explain the significance of the Battle of Britain in 1940. A. It marked the beginning of the British Empire's expansion. B. It was a significant naval battle. C. It was a pivotal World War II air campaign fought between the German Luftwaffe and the British Royal Air Force, which prevented Germany from achieving air superiority and invading Britain. D. It resulted in the signing of a peace treaty. Answer. C. It was a pivotal World War II air campaign fought between the German Luftwaffe and the British Royal Air Force, which prevented Germany from achieving air superiority and invading Britain. The Battle of Britain was crucial in thwarting Hitler's plans for invasion and marked a turning point in the Allied war effort. Question 16. What were the main objectives of the Beveridge Report? A. To propose the establishment of the European Union. B. To outline reforms for the post-war British welfare state, including the creation of the National Health Service. C. To recommend the abolition of the monarchy. D. To suggest changes in the education system. Answer. B. To outline reforms for the post-war British welfare state, including the creation of the National Health Service. The Beveridge Report was instrumental in laying the foundation for the modern UK welfare state proposing widespread reforms to address want, disease, ignorance, squalor, and idleness. Question 17. Describe the process and impact of decolonization on the British Empire post-World War II. A. The rapid expansion of the British Empire. B. The gradual granting of independence to colonies, leading to the dissolution of the empire and the rise of the Commonwealth. C. The unification of all British territories under a single government. D. The establishment of a global economic system. Answer. B. The gradual granting of independence to colonies, leading to the dissolution of the empire and the rise of the Commonwealth. The decolonization process marked the end of the British Empire as a global colonial power and the beginning of a new era of partnership within the Commonwealth? Question 18. What was the Windrush generation, and why is it significant in British history? A. The generation of children born during the baby boom. B. The name given to the post-World War II migration of people from the Caribbean to Britain, symbolizing the beginning of large-scale immigration to the UK and the multicultural society it has become. C the first generation of workers in the Industrial Revolution. D. Soldiers who fought in World War I. Answer. B. The name given to the post-World War II migration of people from the Caribbean to Britain, symbolizing the beginning of large-scale immigration to the UK and the multicultural society it has become. The Windrush generation is significant for its impact on British society culture, and discussions on immigration and diversity. Question 19. Outline the causes and impacts of the Suez Crisis of 1956. A. 
the nationalization of the Suez Canal by Egypt, leading to a military intervention by the UK, France and Israel, and marking a significant shift in the global power structure. b. A dispute over the control of oil fields. c. The establishment of the United Nations. d. A conflict arising from the decolonization process. Answer. a. The nationalization of the Suez Canal by Egypt, leading to a military intervention by the UK, France and Israel, and marking a significant shift in the global power structure. The Suez crisis highlighted the declining power of the British Empire and the rise of new global powers. Question 20. Describe the social and cultural significance of the swinging 60s in Britain. A. A period of economic depression. B. The introduction of new agricultural techniques. C. A cultural revolution that saw London emerge as a center for fashion, music, and youth culture. D. The beginning of the Industrial Revolution. Answer. C. A cultural revolution that saw London emerge as a center for fashion, music, and youth culture. The swinging 60s represented a time of significant social and cultural change in Britain, influencing trends worldwide, and marking London as a vibrant hub of the modern youth culture. Question 21. What was the troubles in Northern Ireland, and what were its main causes? A. A period of economic downturn in the 1980s. B. A conflict over the constitutional status of Northern Ireland. C. A series of disputes related to the monarchy. D. An environmental movement in the 1970s. Answer. B. A conflict over the constitutional status of Northern Ireland. The Troubles was a violent conflict that lasted from the late 1960s to the late 1990s, centred on whether Northern Ireland should remain part of the UK or join the Republic of Ireland. Question 22. Explain the significance of the Falklands War for the UK. A. It marked the beginning of the UK's decline as a world power. B. It was a conflict that resulted in the loss of British territories. C. It demonstrated the UK's military capability and resolve to defend its territories. D. It led to significant reforms in the UK's defence policy. Answer. C. It demonstrated the UK's military capability and resolve to defend its territories. The Falklands War in 1982 was a conflict between the UK and Argentina over the Falkland Islands, with the UK successfully reclaiming the islands. Question 23. Detail the economic policies of Margaret Thatcher's government and their impact on British society. A. Expansion of the welfare state. B. Privatization of state-owned industries and deregulation of the economy. C. Increased taxation and government spending. D. Nationalization of key industries. Answer. B. Privatization of state-owned industries and deregulation of the economy. Margaret Thatcher's economic policies focused on reducing the role of the state in the economy, which led to significant social and economic changes in the UK. Question 24. What was the Good Friday Agreement and what did it achieve? A. A peace agreement that ended the troubles in Northern Ireland. B. An economic pact between the UK and the EU. C. A treaty establishing the UK's independence from the EU. D. An agreement to abolish the monarchy. Answer. A. A peace agreement that ended the troubles in Northern Ireland. The Good Friday Agreement, signed in 1998, was a major political development that helped to bring an end to decades of conflict in Northern Ireland. Question 25. Describe the devolution process in the UK at the end of the 20th century. A. The transfer of power from the UK Parliament to the European Union. B. 
the dissolution of the United Kingdom, c. the granting of powers to regional parliaments in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, d. the centralization of power in London. Answer. c. the granting of powers to regional parliaments in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. The devolution process involved transferring certain legislative powers from the UK Parliament to newly established bodies in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Question 26. What are the main functions of the Commonwealth of Nations? a. To enforce British law in former colonies. b. To promote economic ties and cultural exchange among member countries. c. To coordinate military defence strategies to establish a single currency among member states. Answer. B. To promote economic ties and cultural exchange among member countries. The Commonwealth of Nations is an organization that fosters cooperation and shared values among its member states, most of which are former territories of the British Empire. Question 27. How does the UK's parliamentary democracy function? a. Through a system of direct democracy, where citizens vote on all laws. b. By delegating all legislative powers to the Prime Minister. c. Through elected representatives in Parliament who make and pass laws. d. By allowing the monarchy to make all major political decisions. Answer. c. Through elected representatives in Parliament who make and pass laws. The UK's parliamentary democracy operates on the principle of representative democracy, with members of Parliament, MPs, elected to represent the public's interests. Question 28. Outline the process of how a bill becomes law in the UK. A. Introduction in the House of Commons, debate, approval by the House of Lords, and royal assent. B a national referendum for each bill. c. Direct approval by the Prime Minister. d. Review and approval by the European Court of Justice. Answer. a. Introduction in the House of Commons, debate, approval by the House of Lords, and royal assent. This process ensures that proposed legislation is thoroughly examined and agreed upon before becoming law. Question 29. What is the significance of the Magna Carta in modern British law? a. It introduced the concept of legal representation. b. It established the principle that everyone, including the king, is subject to the law. c. It abolished the monarchy's involvement in government. d. It created the first parliamentary system. Answer. B. It established the principle that everyone, including the king, is subject to the law. The Magna Carta is significant for laying the groundwork for the rule of law in England and, by extension, modern British legal principles. Question 30. Describe the role and powers of the Prime Minister. A. Solely ceremonial duties with no real power. B. Direct control over the judiciary. C. Leadership of the government and executive decisions within the framework of parliamentary democracy. D. The ability to declare war without parliamentary approval. Answer. C. Leadership of the government and executive decisions within the framework of parliamentary democracy. The Prime Minister leads the UK government, overseeing the operation of the civil service and the implementation of its policies. Question 31. What are the responsibilities of the Home Secretary? a. Managing the country's finances. b. Overseeing defence and the armed forces. c. Domestic affairs including security, immigration and policing. d. Education and healthcare policy. Answer. c. Domestic affairs including security, immigration and policing. The Home Secretary is a senior government official responsible for the internal affairs of England and Wales.
focusing on security and order. Question 32. Explain the judicial role of the House of Lords. A. It serves as the highest court of appeal in the UK. B. It has no judicial functions. C. It is responsible for prosecuting criminal cases. D. It oversees elections and referendum integrity. Answer. A. It serves as the highest court of appeal in the UK. While this was true until the establishment of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom in 2009, the House of Lords previously acted as the final court of appeal. Question 33. What is the purpose of the Cabinet in the UK government? A. To advise the Queen on her duties. B. To serve as the legislative body. C. To make decisions on government policy and coordinate the activities of government departments. D. To, to oversee local governments. Answer. C. To make decisions on government policy and coordinate the activities of government departments. The cabinet is composed of the prime minister and top government officials, playing a central role in the UK's government. Question 34. How are members of the House of Commons elected? A. By hereditary succession. B. Through appointment by the Prime Minister. C. In a general election by the UK public. D. By the House of Lords. Answer. C. In a general election by the UK public, members of the House of Commons, MPs, are elected to represent constituencies in a general election. Question 35. What is the function of the opposition in the UK Parliament? A. To provide alternative policies and hold the government to account. B. To appoint judges to the Supreme Court. C. To enact legislation without government approval. D. To govern the colonies. Answer. A. To provide alternative policies and hold the government to account. The opposition plays a crucial role in a parliamentary democracy by scrutinising the work of the government and offering alternative policies. Question 36. Describe the process and significance of the UK's general elections. A. A ceremonial event with no real impact. B. The selection of new members for the House of Lords. C. A process where the UK public votes to elect members of Parliament, determining the government's composition. D. A vote to choose the Prime Minister directly. Answer. C. A process where the UK public votes to elect members of Parliament, determining the government's composition. General elections are fundamental to the democratic process, deciding which party forms the government. Question 37. What are the qualifications required to serve as a juror in the UK? A. Membership in the House of Lords. B. A law degree. C. Being aged 18 to 75 and registered to vote. D. Holding a position in the civil service. Answer. C. Being aged 18 to 75 and registered to vote. Jurors in the UK are drawn from the electoral register, reflecting the principle of trial by one's peers. Question 38. Explain the significance of the Human Rights Act 1998. A. It established the UK's independence from the European Union. B. It codified the protection of human rights into UK law. C. It created the National Health Service. D. It outlined the UK's economic policies. Answer. B. It codified the protection of human rights into UK law. The Human Rights Act 1998 is a significant piece of legislation that incorporated the rights contained in the European Convention on Human Rights into UK law. Question 39. What is the role of the European Court of Human Rights in relation to the UK? A. To oversee the UK's financial regulations. B. 
to adjudicate disputes between the UK and the EU. C. To rule on human rights cases from individuals in member states, including the UK. D. To govern the UK's defence policies. Answer. C. To rule on human rights cases from individuals in member states, including the UK. The European Court of Human Rights can hear cases from individuals who believe their rights under the European Convention on Human Rights have been violated. Question 40. Detail the process of applying for citizenship in the UK. A. Submitting an application to the United Nations. B. Winning a national lottery. C. Passing the life in the UK test and meeting residency requirements. D. Being nominated by a member of the royal family. Answer. C. Passing the life in the UK test and meeting residency requirements. The process for applying for British citizenship includes passing the life in the UK test, meeting certain residency criteria and demonstrating knowledge of the English language. Question 41. What are the criteria for eligibility for indefinite leave to remain in the UK? A. Being born in the UK. B. Passing a basic English test and living in the UK for a specific period. C. Having a British parent. D. Winning a national lottery. Answer. B. Passing a basic English test and living in the UK for a specific period. To be eligible for indefinite leave to remain, applicants must meet certain residency requirements, pass the life in the UK test, and demonstrate English language proficiency. Question 42. Describe the significance of the Commonwealth Games. A. A sporting event where only European countries compete. B an annual football tournament between Commonwealth countries. C. A multi-sport event held every four years involving athletes from the Commonwealth of Nations. D. A conference for Commonwealth leaders to discuss economic policies. Answer. C. A multi-sport event held every four years involving athletes from the Commonwealth of Nations. The Commonwealth Games are significant for fostering a sense of community and friendly competition among the diverse nations of the Commonwealth. Question 43. What is the role of the monarchy in modern Britain? A. To govern the country and make laws. B. Primarily ceremonial, with no direct power in government. C. To lead the military in times of war. D to manage the UK's foreign affairs? Answer. B. Primarily ceremonial, with no direct power in government. The British monarchy today has a largely symbolic role, with the Queen performing ceremonial duties and acting as a figurehead. Question 44. How does the UK contribute to international aid? A. By providing military support to all allies. B. Through cultural exchange programs only. C. By donating a fixed percentage of its GDP to developing countries. D. By hosting international sports events. Answer. C. By donating a fixed percentage of its GDP to developing countries. The UK commits to international aid by providing financial assistance, humanitarian aid, and development support to countries in need, aiming to improve global welfare. Question 45. What are the key principles of the National Health Service, NHS? A. To provide services based on clinical need, not ability to pay. B. Health care for UK citizens only. C. Private health care for those who can afford it. D. Emergency services only. Answer. A. To provide services based on clinical need, not ability to pay. The NHS was founded on the principle that good health care should be available to all, regardless of wealth, 
making it a cornerstone of the UK's welfare state. Question 46. Explain the significance of the Battle of Hastings in 1066. A. It marked the beginning of the Roman Empire in Britain. B. It resulted in the Norman conquest of England. C. It was a key victory in the War of the Roses. D. It led to the independence of Scotland from England. Answer. B. It resulted in the Norman conquest of England. The Battle of Hastings was a pivotal moment in English history, leading to Norman control of England and significant cultural and political changes. Question 47. What was the role of Britain in the abolition of the slave trade? A. Britain was the last European country to abolish the slave trade. B. Britain played a leading role in the international movement to abolish the slave trade. C. Britain opposed the abolition of the slave trade. D. The slave trade was never abolished in Britain. Answer. B. Britain played a leading role in the international movement to abolish the slave trade. The British government passed the Slave Trade Act in 1807, which made the trade in slaves illegal within the British Empire, and later took steps to enforce the ban globally. Question 48. Describe the impact of the British on the development of the global English language. A. The British imposed English only in the UK. B. English language development was primarily influenced by American culture. C. The spread of the English language is attributed to Britain's colonization and global influence. D. English developed independently in different countries. Answer. C. The spread of the English language is attributed to Britain's colonization and global influence. The global spread of English can largely be traced back to the British Empire, which established English as a primary language in administration, education, and trade in its colonies. Question 49. What is the significance of the scientific revolution in Britain? A. It marked the transition to medieval scientific understanding. B. Britain played a minor role in the scientific revolution. C. It was characterized by significant advancements in scientific thought and methods, with key figures like Isaac Newton. D. It led to the decline of the British Empire. Answer. C. It was characterized by significant advancements in scientific thought and methods, with key figures like Isaac Newton. The scientific revolution in Britain was a period of major advances in the sciences, contributing to the foundation of modern scientific knowledge. Question 50. How did World War II impact the British Empire's status as a global power? A. It strengthened the British Empire's global dominance. B. It had no significant impact on the British Empire. C. It led to significant territorial expansion. D. It accelerated the decline of the British Empire and the process of decolonization. Answer. D. It accelerated the decline of the British Empire and the process of decolonization. The aftermath of World War II saw Britain weakened economically and militarily, leading to an accelerated decolonization process and the end of its status as the world's leading imperial power. Question 51. Detail the origins and impact of the British welfare state. A. Originated from the Norman Conquest. B. Developed in response to the economic challenges of the 21st century. C. Began with the Beveridge Report, leading to the establishment of social insurance and public services like the NHS. D. Was a result of American influence after World War II. Answer. C. Began with the Beveridge Report, leading to the establishment of social insurance and public services like the NHS. The Beveridge Report of 1942 laid the groundwork for the British welfare state, aiming to combat poverty and provide health care for all citizens. 
Question 52. Explain the cultural impact of the British invasion in music during the 1960s. A. It marked a period of decline in British music. B. British musicians like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones had a profound effect on global music and popular culture. C. It was limited to classical music. D. It led to the prohibition of rock and roll in Britain. Answer. B. British musicians like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones had a profound effect on global music and popular culture. The British invasion refers to the period when British rock and pop artists became popular in the United States and worldwide, significantly influencing music and culture. Question 53. What are the main features of British constitutional law? A. Based solely on the Magna Carta. B. A written constitution that has remained unchanged since 1066. C. An unwritten constitution comprising statutes, conventions, and legal precedents. D. Governed by the rulings of the European Court of Justice. Answer. C. An unwritten constitution comprising statutes, conventions, and legal precedents. Unlike many countries, the UK does not have a single written constitution. Instead, its constitutional framework is based on various sources, including statutes, judicial decisions, and historical documents. Question 54. Describe the UK's role in the formation of the United Nations. A. The UK opposed the formation of the United Nations. B. The UK was a founding member and played a key role in its establishment following World War II. C. The UK joined the United Nations only after it was formed. D. The UK's role was limited to providing financial support. Answer. B. The UK was a founding member and played a key role in its establishment following World War II. The United Kingdom was instrumental in the founding of the United Nations in 1945, with British Prime Minister Winston Churchill playing a significant role in advocating for a new international body to maintain peace. Question 55. What was the impact of the Black Death on medieval England? A. It had minimal impact on the population. B. It led to the end of the feudal system. C. It resulted in the death of approximately one-third of England's population, leading to significant social and economic changes. D. It initiated the Industrial Revolution. Answer. C. It resulted in the death of approximately one-third of England's population, leading to significant social and economic changes. The Black Death, a devastating global epidemic of bubonic plague, had profound effects on the structure of society, economy, and daily life in medieval England. Question 56. Explain the significance of the Elizabethan era to English culture and history. A. It was marked by decline in the arts and culture. B. A golden age of English culture, with flourishing arts, exploration, and literature, exemplified by the works of Shakespeare. C. It was characterized by significant technological regression. P. England was isolated from the rest of Europe. Answer. B. A golden age of English culture, with flourishing arts, exploration, and literature, exemplified by the works of Shakespeare. The Elizabethan era, under the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, was a period of significant cultural, artistic, and scientific achievements that have had a lasting impact on English identity and heritage. Question 57. What were the main causes and outcomes of the gunpowder plot of 1605? A. A successful coup to overthrow the king. B. A plot by Catholic conspirators to blow up the House of Lords and kill King James I, which was foiled. C a protest against the Industrial Revolution. D. A conflict between England and France. 
Answer. B. A plot by Catholic conspirators to blow up the House of Lords and kill King James I, which was foiled. The gunpowder plot was an attempt by a group of Catholics to provoke a rebellion by assassinating the Protestant King James I, but the plot was discovered before it could be executed. Question 58. Describe the historical context and impact of the Enclosure Acts. A. Laws that promoted free trade. B. Legislation that allowed for the privatization and fencing of common lands, leading to significant social and economic changes in rural England. C. Acts that banned the use of enclosed spaces. D. Laws that facilitated the spread of the Black Death. Answer. B. Legislation that allowed for the privatization and fencing of common lands, leading to significant social and economic changes in rural England. The Enclosure Acts transformed the agricultural landscape by consolidating land into fewer larger farms, driving many small farmers off the land and contributing to the rise of the Industrial Revolution. Question 59. What is the significance of the Highland Clearances in Scottish history? A. The unification of Scotland and England. B. A series of agricultural reforms with little impact on society. C. The forced eviction of tenants and the restructuring of land use from farming to sheep herding, leading to significant emigration and changes in Scottish rural life. D. The discovery of oil in the Scottish Highlands. Answer. C. The forced eviction of tenants and the restructuring of land use from farming to sheep herding, leading to significant emigration and changes in Scottish rural life. The Highland clearances were a period of rapid change and turmoil in the Scottish Highlands during the 18th and 19th centuries with lasting effects on Scottish culture and population distribution. Question 60. Explain the role of Britain in the development of parliamentary democracy. A. Britain had no influence on the development of parliamentary democracy. B. Britain was a late adopter of parliamentary democracy. C. Britain's development of the Westminster system provided a model for parliamentary democracy that has been adopted by numerous countries around the world. D. Parliamentary democracy was borrowed from France. Answer. C. Britain's development of the Westminster system provided a model for parliamentary democracy that has been adopted by numerous countries around the world. The UK is considered a pioneer in the development of parliamentary democracy with its system of government influencing democratic practices globally. Question 61. Detailed the contributions of the British to the field of science and technology. A. Inventing the steam engine and developing the World Wide Web. B. The creation of the first computer virus. C. Developing the first social media platform. D. Inventing the printing press. Answer. A. Inventing the steam engine and developing the World Wide Web. The British have made significant contributions to science and technology, notably with the invention of the steam engine by James Watt and the development of the World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee. Question 62. What is the significance of the Bank of England in global finance? A. It is the world's oldest central bank and has played a central role in the development of modern banking and the financial system. B. It was the first bank to introduce ATMs. C. It is the only bank in the UK allowed to issue currency. D. It holds the world record for the largest gold reserves. Answer. A. It is the world's oldest central bank and has played a central role in the development of modern banking and the financial system. The Bank of England, established in 1694, has been a model for central banks around the world. Question 63. How did the Victorian era influence British society and culture? A. 
It was a period of decline in industrial and scientific achievements. B. Marked by significant social, economic, and technological advancements, setting the stage for modern Britain. C. Characterized by a reduction in the British Empire's global influence. D. Noted for its lack of cultural and artistic contributions. Answer. B. Marked by significant social, economic, and technological advancements, setting the stage for modern Britain. The Victorian era was a time of great change in Britain, with the expansion of the empire, advancements in technology and industry, and changes in social attitudes. Question 64. Describe the changes brought about by the Education Act of 1944. A. It abolished public education. B. Introduced compulsory education up to the age of 15, laying the groundwork for the modern state education system in the UK. C. It made university education accessible to only a select few. D. Education was made compulsory up to the age of 21. Answer. B. Introduced compulsory education up to the age of 15 laying the groundwork for the modern state education system in the UK. The Education Act of 1944, also known as the Butler Act, was a landmark piece of legislation that reformed the education system in England and Wales. Question 65. What was the impact of the British on the development of sports, such as football and cricket? A. The British had no significant influence on these sports. B. They formalized the rules and spread them globally, making a lasting impact on the world of sports. C. They banned these sports during the Victorian era. D. Football and cricket were actually invented in the United States and later adopted by the British. Answer. B. They formalized the rules and spread them globally, making a lasting impact on the world of sports. The British are credited with formalizing the rules of many sports, including football and cricket, and played a key role in their international spread and popularity. Question 66. Explain the historical significance of Stonehenge. A. It was a medieval castle. B. A prehistoric monument whose purpose remains a subject of scholarly debate symbolizing the technological and architectural skills of Neolithic peoples. C. The site of the first Olympic Games. D. A Roman amphitheater. Answer. B. A prehistoric monument whose purpose remains a subject of scholarly debate, symbolizing the technological and architectural skills of Neolithic peoples. Stonehenge is one of the most famous prehistoric monuments in the world, showcasing the engineering skills of its builders. Question 67. Detail the role of Britain in the discovery and colonization of America. A. Britain played a minimal role in the exploration of America. B. It led the Viking expeditions to North America. C. British explorers, including John Cabot, claimed parts of North America, with Britain later establishing colonies that contributed to the formation of the United States. D. Britain provided financial support to other European nations for exploration. Answer. C. British explorers, including John Cabot, claimed parts of North America, with Britain later establishing colonies that contributed to the formation of the United States. The British played a significant role in the exploration, settlement, and colonization of America, shaping the history and development of the New World. Question 68. What are the main features of Gothic architecture in Britain? A. The use of concrete and steel. B. Characterized by pointed arches, ribbed vaults, and flying buttresses, exemplified in cathedrals such as Canterbury and York Minster. C. Predominantly wooden structures. D. Simple, unadorned exteriors and interiors. Answer. B. 
characterized by pointed arches, ribbed vaults, and flying buttresses, exemplified in cathedrals such as Canterbury and York Minster. Gothic architecture is noted for its height, intricacy, and beauty, representing a high point in medieval British architecture. Question 69. Describe the significance of the Battle of Trafalgar. A. It was a minor naval skirmish with France. B. A decisive victory for Napoleon Bonaparte. C. A pivotal naval engagement during the Napoleonic Wars in which the British fleet, under Admiral Nelson, defeated the combined French and Spanish fleets, ensuring British naval supremacy. D. The defeat of the British by the Spanish Armada. Answer. C. A pivotal naval engagement during the Napoleonic Wars in which the British fleet, under Admiral Nelson, defeated the combined French and Spanish fleets, ensuring British naval supremacy. The Battle of Trafalgar in 1805 is celebrated for its strategic importance and for the heroism of Admiral Nelson. Question 70. How did the Great Fire of London in 1666 impact the city's development? A. The fire had little impact on London's development. B. It led to a decrease in the city's population. C. The fire destroyed much of the medieval city leading to the rebuilding of London with improved urban planning and fire-resistant materials. D. London was abandoned for several years following the fire. Answer. C. The fire destroyed much of the medieval city, leading to the rebuilding of London with improved urban planning and fire-resistant materials. The Great Fire of London was a catalyst for the modernization of the city's infrastructure and architecture. Question 71. What is the significance of the Reform Acts in expanding the franchise in Britain? A. They restricted voting rights to the aristocracy. B. A series of acts that gradually extended the right to vote to more people, including the working class and women, broadening democratic participation. C. The acts abolished the monarchy. D. They made voting compulsory for all citizens. Answer. B. A series of acts that gradually extended the right to vote to more people, including the working class and women, broadening democratic participation. The reform acts were crucial in the development of the British democratic system, making it more representative of the population. Question 72. Explain the role of Britain in the development of the modern postal system. A. Britain's role was limited to domestic mail services. B. The introduction of the penny post by Sir Rowland Hill in 1840 revolutionised postal services, making mail delivery affordable for the general public. C. Britain was opposed to the standardisation of postal services. D. The modern postal system was actually developed in China, with little input from Britain. Answer. B. The introduction of the penny post by Sir Rowland Hill in 1840 revolutionised postal services, making mail delivery affordable for the general public. This innovation had a profound impact on communication, both within Britain and internationally. Question 73. Detail the significance of the Anglo-Saxon period in British history. A. It marked the beginning of the Roman occupation of Britain. B. A key phase in the early formation of England, characterised by the establishment of settlements, cultural integration, and the beginnings of the English language. C. A period of significant technological advancement. D. The Anglo-Saxon period is considered a dark age with no lasting impact. Answer. B. A key phase in the early formation of England, characterised by the establishment of settlements, cultural integration, and the beginnings of the English language. The Anglo-Saxon period laid the foundations for the English nation. Question 74. 
What are the main contributions of the British to literature and the arts? A. The invention of the novel and the contributions of writers such as Shakespeare, Austen and Dickens. B. Britain has made no significant contributions to literature or the arts. C. Contributions are limited to the 20th century. D. Focused exclusively on classical music. Answer. A. The invention of the novel and the contributions of writers such as Shakespeare, Austen and Dickens. British literature and arts have had a profound impact globally, with British authors and artists influencing countless genres and movements. Question 75. Describe the impact of British explorers on global navigation and discovery. A. British explorers played a minor role in global exploration. B. They led expeditions that significantly contributed to the mapping and understanding of the world, including the voyages of Captain James Cook. C. British explorers focused solely on the Arctic. D. The concept of global exploration was actually discouraged in Britain. Answer. B. They led expeditions that significantly contributed to the mapping and understanding of the world, including the voyages of Captain James Cook. British explorers were instrumental in expanding knowledge of the globe, claiming territories and establishing trade routes. Question 76. What was the role of Britain in the Treaty of Versailles? A. Britain had no participation in the Treaty of Versailles. B. As one of the principal Allied powers, Britain played a significant role in negotiating the terms of the treaty that ended World War I. C. Britain opposed the treaty. D. The treaty was solely a French and American agreement. Answer. B. As one of the principal Allied powers, Britain played a significant role in negotiating the terms of the treaty that ended World War I. The Treaty of Versailles had profound implications for the post-war world, with Britain influencing its outcomes. Question 77. Explain the significance of the British East India Company in global trade. A. It was a minor trading company with limited impact. B. The company played a pivotal role in the expansion of British trade and influence in India and Asia, effectively managing trade in spices, cotton, and other goods. C. It focused exclusively on trade within Europe. D. The company was known for its ethical trading practices. Answer. B. The company played a pivotal role in the expansion of British trade and influence in India and Asia, effectively managing trade in spices, cotton, and other goods. The British East India Company was instrumental in establishing British dominance in global trade during the 17th to 19th centuries. Question 78. Detail the impact of the Blitz on London during World War II. A. It resulted in minor damage to the city. B. A sustained bombing campaign by Nazi Germany that caused widespread destruction and loss of life, testing the resilience of the British people. C. The Blitz was a military victory for Britain. D. London was evacuated and abandoned during the Blitz. Answer. B. A sustained bombing campaign by Nazi Germany that caused widespread destruction and loss of life, testing the resilience of the British people. The Blitz is remembered for the courage and determination of Londoners and the wider British public in the face of adversity. Question 79. What is the significance of the Chartist movement in British democratic reforms? A. It was a movement that sought to abolish the monarchy. B. A working-class movement in the 19th century that demanded reforms such as universal male suffrage and the secret ballot, contributing to the expansion of democratic rights. C. The movement focused on environmental protection. D. It was a literary movement with no political goals. Answer. B. 
a working-class movement in the 19th century that demanded reforms such as universal male suffrage and the secret ballot, contributing to the expansion of democratic rights. The Chartist movement was crucial in the fight for greater political representation and rights for the working class. Question 80. How did the Battle of Waterloo impact European history? A. It led to the expansion of the Napoleonic Empire. B. Marked the final defeat of Napoleon Bonaparte, leading to a period of relative peace and the re-establishment of the balance of power in Europe. C. It initiated the Industrial Revolution. D. The battle had no significant impact. Answer. B. Marked the final defeat of Napoleon Bonaparte, leading to a period of relative peace and the re-establishment of the balance of power in Europe. The Battle of Waterloo in 1815 was a turning point that ended more than two decades of conflict in Europe. Question 81. Describe the evolution of the British legal system. A. Based solely on the decisions of the monarch. B. Developed from Roman law and unchanged since the Roman occupation. C. An amalgamation of common law, statutory law, and legal precedents that has evolved over centuries. D. Imported entirely from the French legal system in the 19th century. Answer. C. An amalgamation of common law, statutory law, and legal precedents that has evolved over centuries. The British legal system is a complex and adaptive system that has developed through centuries of tradition, case law, and legislative action. Question 82. What was the impact of the Roman conquest on Britain? A. It had little lasting impact with most Roman advances quickly forgotten. b. Introduction of Roman law, architecture and roads significantly influencing British society and culture. c. The Roman conquest led directly to the establishment of the British Empire. d. Romans introduced the English language to Britain. Answer. b. Introduction of Roman law, architecture and roads significantly influencing British society and culture. The Roman conquest of Britain in the first century AD left a profound legacy, including urban development, infrastructure and administrative practices. Question 83. Explain the significance of the Act of Union between England and Scotland. A. It created the first parliamentary democracy. B. Led to the establishment of the United Kingdom of Great Britain in 1707, unifying the parliaments and crowns of England and Scotland. C. It marked the end of Christianity in Britain. D. The act was purely symbolic and had no legal or political effects. Answer. B. Led to the establishment of the United Kingdom of Great Britain in 1707, unifying the parliaments and crowns of England and Scotland. The Act of Union was a landmark in British history, laying the foundations for the modern UK. Question 84. Detail the contributions of the British to the development of the Internet. A. The Internet was developed solely by American scientists. B. British contributions are limited to the design of websites. C. Tim Berners-Lee a British computer scientist, invented the World Wide Web, revolutionising access to information and communication. D. The British focused on developing computer games, not the Internet. Answer. C. Tim Berners-Lee, a British computer scientist, invented the World Wide Web, revolutionising access to information and communication. This pivotal development made the Internet accessible and usable for the general public. Question 85. What are the cultural impacts of British colonialism? A. It led to a decrease in cultural diversity worldwide. B. British colonialism had no significant cultural impacts. C. Spread of the English language, legal systems and cultural practices 
influencing societies around the world. D. British colonialism exclusively promoted economic development. Answer. C. Spread of the English language, legal systems, and cultural practices, influencing societies around the world. The cultural legacy of British colonialism is complex, with significant impacts on language, governance, and cultural exchange globally. Question 86. Describe the significance of the penny black stamp. A. It was the first adhesive postage stamp in the world, introduced by Britain in 1840, revolutionizing the postal system. B. A rare stamp issued to commemorate the Black Death. C. It marked the end of the postal service in Britain. D. The penny black stamp was a form of currency in the 19th century. Answer. A. It was the first adhesive postage stamp in the world, introduced by Britain in 1840, revolutionizing the postal system. The penny black stamp made mail service affordable for the general public, facilitating widespread communication. Question 87. How did the Great Exhibition of 1851 showcase Britain's industrial leadership? A. It was a military parade demonstrating Britain's strength. B. The exhibition focused on Britain's agricultural techniques. C. Held in the Crystal Palace, it displayed the latest technological innovations and manufactured products from around the world, emphasizing Britain's role in the Industrial Revolution. D. The exhibition was a failure and did not attract international attention. Answer. C. Held in the Crystal Palace, it displayed the latest technological innovations and manufactured products from around the world, emphasizing Britain's role in the Industrial Revolution. The Great Exhibition was a symbol of the Victorian age and Britain's industrial dominance. Question 88. What is the significance of the Mary Rose and its discovery? A. The ship was a modern naval vessel lost in World War II. B. A Tudor ship that sank in 1545 and was raised in 1982, providing invaluable insights into 16th century maritime history. C. It was the first steam-powered vessel. D. The discovery confirmed the existence of mermaids. Answer. B. A Tudor ship that sank in 1545 and was raised in 1982 providing invaluable insights into 16th century maritime history. The Mary Rose is a key archaeological find, offering a unique snapshot of Tudor naval life. Question 89. Explain the impact of the Tudor dynasty on England. A. The Tudors were insignificant and had little impact on English history. B. They introduced the parliamentary system. C. The Tudor period was marked by religious reform, the establishment of the Church of England, and significant cultural development. D. The dynasty isolated England from the rest of Europe. Answer. C. The Tudor period was marked by religious reform, the establishment of the Church of England, and significant cultural development. The Tudors played a crucial role in shaping modern English society, governance and religion. Question 90. Detailed the significance of the British abolition of capital punishment. A. Britain was the first country to abolish capital punishment. B. The abolition in 1965 reflected evolving attitudes towards human rights and justice, influencing global perspectives on the death penalty. C. Capital punishment was replaced with corporal punishment. D. The abolition led to a significant increase in crime. Answer. B. The abolition in 1965 reflected evolving attitudes towards human rights and justice, influencing global perspectives on the death penalty. The move away from capital punishment in Britain is part of a broader trend towards more humane forms of justice. Question 91. 
What are the main causes and effects of British urbanization during the Industrial Revolution? A. Urbanization was primarily caused by a decline in agricultural productivity. B. The movement of people from rural areas to cities for work in factories, leading to the growth of urban centers and significant social and economic changes. C. Urbanization led to the immediate improvement of living standards for all. D. It was caused by the discovery of gold in urban areas. Answer. B. The movement of people from rural areas to cities for work in factories, leading to the growth of urban centers and significant social and economic changes. The Industrial Revolution was a key driver of urbanization transforming the British landscape and society. Question 92. Describe the historical significance of the Magna Carta in the context of legal development. A. It was a minor legal document with no lasting impact. B. Signed in 1215, it established the principle that the king's power was not absolute, laying the foundation for the rule of law and individual rights in England. C. The Magna Carta abolished the monarchy. D. It introduced the concept of democracy from ancient Greece to England. Answer. B. Signed in 1215, it established the principle that the king's power was not absolute, laying the foundation for the rule of law and individual rights in England. The Magna Carta is a cornerstone of modern legal systems emphasizing the importance of due process and equality before the law. Question 93. What was the impact of British innovations in transportation, such as the steam engine? A. They had little influence outside of Britain. B. British transportation innovations played a minimal role in the development of global trade. C. They revolutionized transport facilitating global trade and the movement of people, and were instrumental in the Industrial Revolution. D. The steam engine was primarily used for entertainment purposes. Answer. C. They revolutionized transport, facilitating global trade and the movement of people, and were instrumental in the Industrial Revolution. British innovations, like the steam engine, transformed economies and societies worldwide. Question 94. Explain the significance of the English Bill of Rights in 1689. A. It established the principles of absolute monarchy. B. The document limited the powers of the monarchy and set out the rights of Parliament and individuals, influencing the development of constitutional monarchy. C. It was a trade agreement with the Dutch. D. The Bill of Rights banned the use of the English language. Answer. B. The document limited the powers of the monarchy and set out the rights of Parliament and individuals, influencing the development of constitutional monarchy. The English Bill of Rights is a fundamental document in the political history of Britain and the wider world. Question 95. Detail the role of the UK in the establishment of the modern Olympic Games. A. The UK played no significant role in the establishment of the Olympics. B. British officials were instrumental in the revival of the Olympic Games in the modern era, with the first Games held in London in 1908. C. The UK opposed the revival of the Olympic Games. D. The modern Olympic Games were exclusively a French initiative. Answer. B. British officials were instrumental in the revival of the Olympic Games in the modern era, with the first Games held in London in 1908. The UK's contribution to the Olympics reflects its broader influence on global sports and culture. Question 96. What is the historical significance of Hadrian's War? A. It was built as a decorative feature by the Romans. B. Built by the Romans to mark the northern limit of their empire in Britain and to control movement 
it symbolizes the Roman impact on British cultural and historical landscapes. C. The wall was constructed to keep out invading Scottish clans. D. It was built in the 20th century as a tourist attraction. Answer B. Built by the Romans to mark the northern limit of their empire in Britain and to control movement, it symbolizes the Roman impact on British cultural and historical landscapes. Hadrian's Wall is an iconic monument of Roman Britain and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Question 97. Describe the impact of the Norman Conquest on the English language. A. The Norman Conquest had no impact on the English language. B. It resulted in the replacement of English with Latin. C. The conquest introduced a large number of French words into English, significantly influencing its vocabulary and development. D. English was simplified to make it easier for the Normans to learn. Answer. C. The conquest introduced a large number of French words into English, significantly influencing its vocabulary and development. The Norman conquest of 1066 had a profound effect on the English language, contributing to its richness and diversity. Question 98. What were the consequences of the Acts of Union 1800 for Ireland? A. Ireland became independent from Britain. B. The Acts unified Ireland and Britain into a single political entity, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, leading to significant political and social changes. C. The Acts focused on environmental conservation in Ireland. D. They established the euro as the currency of Ireland. Answer. B. The Acts unified Ireland and Britain into a single political entity, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, leading to significant political and social changes. The Acts of Union 1800 have lasting implications for the relationship between Ireland and Britain. Question 99. Explain the significance of the Victoria Cross. A. It is awarded for academic achievement in British universities. B. The highest military decoration awarded for valour in the face of the enemy to members of the armed forces of various Commonwealth countries and previous British Empire territories. C. A literary award for Victorian literature. D. It commemorates Queen Victoria's wedding. Answer. B. The highest military decoration awarded for valour in the face of the enemy to members of the armed forces of various Commonwealth countries and previous British Empire territories. The Victoria Cross represents the utmost honour for bravery in military service. Question 100. Detail the role of British women in the World Wars. A. British women played no role in either World War. B. They served primarily as nurses and in non-combat roles, but also took on roles traditionally held by men, significantly contributing to the war effort and the push for gender equality. C. Women were not allowed to participate in any capacity. D. British women served as combat soldiers in World War I. Answer. B. They served primarily as nurses and in non-combat roles, but also took on roles traditionally held by men, significantly contributing to the war effort and the push for gender equality. The participation of British women in both world wars marked a significant step towards the recognition of women's contributions and rights in society. Question 101. What is the significance of the Beveridge Report in the creation of the welfare state? A. It outlined a plan for post-war reconstruction that led to the establishment of the welfare state, including the creation of the National Health Service. B. The report recommended the abolition of the welfare state. C. It focused on the privatization of health care and education. D. The Beveridge Report was a military strategy document. Answer. A. 
It outlined a plan for post-war reconstruction that led to the establishment of the welfare state, including the creation of the National Health Service. The Beveridge Report of 1942 is considered a foundational document in the development of the modern British welfare state.